Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is WarDogSec back with another video for you guys. Today's video, we are continuing on with the Try Hack Me Junior Penetration Tester Learning Path. This is the Vulnerability Research Module. This is the Vulnerability Capstone Room. Apply the knowledge gained throughout the Vulnerability Module in this challenge room. Now, let's go ahead and dive into it. Task one, introduction. Summarize the skills learnt in this module by completing the capstone room for the, the vulnerability research module. Acme Support Incorporated has recently set up a new blog. Their developer team has asked for a security audit to be performed before they create and publish articles to the public. It is your task to perform a security audit on the blog, looking for and abusing any vulnerabilities that you find. And let's get hacking. I've already started up both machines here, the attack box, as you can see on the right here, and then the target machines already started. All right, so let's see here. Allow five minutes to pass before attempting to attack the vulnerable machine at this following IP address here. And I believe five minutes has already passed. So let's see what they have here. Let me open up a new tab. And the first thing I'm going to do here is try an MAP scan on it. So I'm going to do the following here. Like so, and then let's just do yeah. We'll just keep it like that. Now let's do a a, a uh, TCP like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and plug this in and wait for the results to come back here. What is the name of the application running on the vulnerable machine? Another thing you can do here, you can also try to see if maybe there's a web server running on it while this in-map scan is going on. And if Firefox decides to load here, we can see that. So what is the version number of this application? All right, so it's loading very slowly, but let's see if we can navigate our way to this particular machine and see if, okay, there we go. Welcome to Fuel CMS version 1.4. So the version is gonna be 1.4 as we saw there. And what is the name of the application that's running? It looks like this is gonna be this Fuel CMS. So let's go ahead and type that in. There we go. It says, what is the number of the CV that allows an attacker to remotely execute code on this application. Now, as we saw in the other video, we can look at exploit DB, right? To search for stuff in here, if I can spell, okay. Let me reject all this here and I didn't spell it correctly, but I still pulled it up there. There you go. Uh, let's see, I'll just allow cookies. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug this in fill CMS like so see if anything comes up here all right it has some in here for uh, 1.4 so let's go ahead and just add this on to this there we go all right so we have a few RC um, exploits inside of here so we can go ahead and try to check these out be sure to look through these particular uh, POC codes here to make sure there's not anything like malicious in there, like some kind of backdoor that can actually hack your own machine or play some kind of malware on your own box. But let's go through this and come back to the video. Hey everybody, just a quick little blurb here. As you can see here, most people that view my channel are not subscribers. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're enjoying the video, please consider hitting the like button. It helps get me in the algorithm, help spread the good word out there, helps bring more people and increase our glorious community here. All right, I'm all about helping out others. I know what it's like to come up in cybersecurity or even try to get into cybersecurity and not knowing where to look. I'm just having this channel up so I can help out other people. All right, that's all I got. Okay, so let's go over some things. Now we need to find the CV number. Now, how are you gonna find that? Well, you can go into this NVD data base that we saw in the other video, right? And do a search on this particular application here, fill CMS version 1.4, yada, yada, yada. Go through and you can sift through and f figure out which one that you need. And apparently it's gonna be this 2018-16763. So um, that's the, the CV you wanna be uh, targeting here. And ExploitDB has a few different um, exploit codes you can go through. So you just find the one that's applicable. There's a few in here, right? There's just one down here, one, and then there's two and three. And this is the one that we want right here. 
So you go through, you can click on it, you can download it through here. Make sure to review the code, make sure there's not nothing you know weird going on in there. After you've done that, you can download this to your machine here, which I have already done. I did try to run this, but I was having issues with running it. I don't know why, but there is already an exploit um, code file on the machine itself. We'll get to that in a second. Now, when you're going through and looking at this fuel, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom from the page that says, welcome to fuel CMS, yada, yada, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see that there is an admin portal. You can access that via this link here with admin admin. Right, default credentials set very, very secure. So anyway, you can go in, you can explore it, see if you find out any other information in there, yada, yada, yada. So once you've got your particular exploit um, file ready to go, make sure to check through it and um, you'll come across the usage of it. Um, let's skip back to this in-map scan results. All right, there's not much information in here, but we can see that there's a couple of ports open. There's 22 and port 80, right? which is apparently running this Apache server on the back end. And it's got this robot.txt file in here. And we can see that the title is saying, welcome to fuel CMS. So that's another way you could find out information on your target system here. But anyway, let's flip back over to the actual exploits. Now you can use search exploit in the terminal to try to find a particular exploit code for it. And you can see it returns some results here. You can download this as well using um, this command here, All right, which I'm not going to do, but you can do that if you chose to do so, and I'll download it from the uh, source. And let's go back over to the actual exploit code. All right, now you can look at it. You can use nano or whatever um, text editor tool you want to use. Go through review the contents of it. All right, so I'm going to click out of this. Now to run this, we're going to use Python because it's a Python file. So Python and then the name of the file here. And you, just, you can just hit enter, right? And it'll tell you how to use it down here. Usage Python 3 exploits and then the IP address of the target box. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's do Python 3 like they showed us. And then the name of the exploit uh, file. And then the IP address we're targeting is going to be this one here, this 10.10.95.1.1. .10 so hit enter and it should come back with some more steps to do. All right, now let's see here. We want a reverse shell with netcat, right? So let's go ahead and type that in, shell underscore me. All right, and then enter your attacking machine port IP and the port number. All right, so first off, let's fire up netcat here, and we're gonna set it up on 4444. All right, so I got a listener running now with netcat, and let's go back over to here, this area here. Okay, so my IP address is 10.10.20.87, and then the port's going to be 4444. There we go. Now let's go back over to this netcat. Okay, now it says that we're in here. Now let's do a who am I, WW data. You can do ls, figure out what's in here. All right, you can do id, check um, like permissions and stuff like that. You can do, uh, I think it's sudo dash l, right? But anyway, uh, take a look at these files here and look around inside of here. What's this? You can check out the robot.txt. Probably not much in there. So let's check it out. .txt. All right, not much information from that file, but it says to find the flag. So let's go ahead and try to find the flag in here. Home Ubuntu. There we go. All right, there's the flag and cat the flag. .txt. There we go. And that should wrap up this video. All right. Now, if you enjoyed this video, found it of value, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like button, comment below your thoughts, opinions. As always, thank you all for taking the time to watch my video. Have a nice day and I will see you later.